Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. In today's video, I want to take you guys through the process of me decorating our goddaughter's dorm room. She is now officially a freshman at the University of Alabama and for her graduation gift, we decided to give her a dorm room makeover. So here is the before of the space. The first thing that I did was I wanted to rearrange the furniture to create a little bit more for space. So I placed one of the dressers underneath the bed and then on the opposite, opposite side of the room, I added her desk. Uh, next up, we went ahead and start hanging the artwork. Now, you will see that I used a lot of large pieces in this room, and that is simply because um, they were limited on the number of holes, the total number of holes that they can put in the wall. So for this dorm, it was only 10 holes. So I had to be very strategic about all of the wall art and things that I was adding uh, to the wall. Next, I like to kind of design from high to low so I don't have to like stand on the bedding or anything like that. So we hung the curtains and we hung the wall art. And then I decided to give her a quick class in Ironology 101. And she actually steamed out all of her bedding, all of the custom um, bed skirts and the curtain, the gorgeous curtains and the bedding and all of that. So it would look a really nice and pristine for the reveal. We absolutely hated the chair, so my event planner side definitely had to come out. And I just used a chair cover to place it on the chair. I did get it in white, but I'm going to be ordering her one in blush so that it will match her room, or gray. Next up, I wanted to create kind of a command station on the wall so that it would leave her desk free for her to study and do her work. So I had a calendar and a couple of other pieces that I picked up at Home Goods, and also a beautiful lamp um, that I added by Kate Spade. It is pink with gray flowers, and her room color theme was pink, gray gold and white and I was just so ecstatic to find these lamps in home goods like I actually prayed about it prior to me leaving home because I um you know couldn't find exactly what I wanted and when we got to Tuscaloosa I found it right there so I knew that it was an, an answer prayer and I was super excited about it I also found this cute book that says perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created which is great for storing her chargers and things of that nature next up I just finished completely decorating the desk I added all of the accessories in on her desk um, she's a very minimalistic person um, she actually preferred more gray but allowed me to add just a pop of pink and gold so I thought that it looked really cute I found a lot of the art pieces that I am putting on her desk at Hobby Lobby and they were 75 percent off and so here is what the desk area looks like completed. There is plenty of room for her to add her laptop, her books, and do whatever she needs to do in order to study. The next thing that we're going to do is add the chair back at the desk area. And I noticed she had a lot of blankets and she told me that um, she gets cold a lot like while she's studying and things like that. So I added a couple of pillows there just for comfort for her back if she needs a little comfort in the chair. Um, and I thought they looked super cute. I got the sleigh pillow for $6 at Hobby Lobby. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and add a blanket, like a little blanket. And it has like cute little ruffles on it. I got this blanket from Lush Decor. I will leave the exact link down in the description box below, but I love the fact that it's crinkled. It's very, um, it's very lightweight, and I think it's definitely something that will keep her feeling warm and co cozy while she's studying, and you know, whether if she needs to adjust the temperature, um, she can kind of use this blanket because she is sharing the space with other roommates. 
Now here are the absolutely gorgeous curtains, you guys. I absolutely love them. They match the custom skirt so well. They were also from Lush Decor along with this gorgeous velvet round pillow. I absolutely love it. Again, I will link the curtains and the bedding. I got the bedspread from Lux Decor as well. And it has a long ruffle already made onto it, which was absolutely perfect for us raising the height of the this bed and I will again leave the direct link to all of these items down in the description box below. So once I got the curtains in place, the bedding in place, we also added a custom headboard that you can see there. I wanted to add a little nightstand and this was kind of a surprise for her because she sent me an inspiration photo and in that photo they had a nightstand. She didn't know she was going to get the custom um, bedding, uh, bed headboard and the nightstand so she was really surprised about that. So I added the nightstand with a little lamp and and I left room there. It's not a lot of space. So I wanted her to have like a place to put her cell phone um, to charge at night. So I just thought that was super cute. The only thing is I wish I had something to raise it a little bit higher so that she could easily assess it from her bed. But otherwise it looks adorable there. We did change out the lights to more of a daylight light instead of this yellowish finish but I think overall it looked really good and it looked really good against all of her other bedding. Now here at the bottom where we have the dresser we wanted to kind of disguise it so we added a small ottoman and an elephant. For those of you guys who may not know the mascot for the University of Alabama is an elephant so we added it there as well. And I also added a throw at the bottom of the bed along with a tray that she could use to eat or do her work or have snacks or corral her books or whatever she wanted to do so I left the tray empty so that she could use it as needed because I wanted her bedroom to be both beautiful and functional. The rug I got from Ross, it was a last minute find. It was only $27 and I just thought it looked absolutely incredible against the lamp and the bedding and the wall art. It just came together so well and I love the blush tray and the painting with the blush and gold and white aspects. It just turned out absolutely adorable. Now this pillow, I just love these. I think they add so much interest and texture to a bed and the roundness of the pillow also match the roundness on the tray on the bed. I am a stickler for shape. So if you notice everything that I added, the ottoman, the tray, and the pillow were all round and circular. I think when you have texture, it just adds so much more to the room or to the space or to the design. Finally, the curtains were like, they were it for me. I love them because they tied in so well with the skirt, but the number one thing was that, that they tied at the top. And with the curtains tying at the top, you could adjust the length. So, you know, I love that aspect. So if it was, I got 96 inches and they just worked out per, per, perfectly. The pop of pink in the chair was everything for me. Um, it just kind of brought a little bit of umph. It you know tied into the hot pink in her signs and in her little reminders and all of that. So I just think it turned out really incredible. Um, her planner is there. She could store her papers there. She also likes to drink hot tea and coffee. So we got her a little coffee maker. And I just thought it looked great. So I want to remind you guys of what the before looks like. And then we will take a peek at the after.
so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this dorm room makeover and it gave you tons of inspiration for decorating your dorm or a room in your home. If you're interested in the bed skirt or the curtains or the pillows that I featured in today's video, look down in the description box and I will have all of the information for you there. I'll see you guys at the next video. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!